So here I have my empty design page in Embrilliant Essentials. I am going to choose my lettering tool, which places a lettering object in the center of my screen. I'm going to change my text to the text that I want to have displayed. And from the pull down menu here, I am going to choose one of the BX fonts that I have installed into the program. The BX files have a needle next to the name on the left side. The fonts that don't have a needle next to them, those are the ones that are built into the program as part of Essentials. So I'm going to choose this one and a half inch by Designs by Juju and my lettering automatically changes to that font. Now, if you notice, in if now, notice that next to letters, the tab I have here, it says Stitch Tab. This will be visible if you are running version 1.145 or higher. When you have a lettering object selected and you click on the Stitch Tab in Essentials, you will see that you now have the ability to adjust the satin density or the fill density of your lettering object. You are also available allowed to change the Compensation, which will make the letters fatter, as well as remove hidden stitches when the letters overlap each other. Now, the way that these work is with a slider bar. In order to actually see them, I recommend, or see the change, I recommend actually getting a little closer to the design so that you can actually see it in action. Select your lettering object, use the slider bar, and move it to the left or the right, the right will make it bigger, left makes it small, skinnier. When I release my mouse button, you can see that the stitches got wider. They are wider by six points. Now, the software will let you do that for any design. That does not mean you should do that for any lettering object. It will work for this particular font because the way that she, the digitizer has digitized it. There is underlay stitching underneath these satins. So when you make those satins wider, there's something that is also, the underlay stitching is also compensated. Let me put it back at zero. So let's zoom in and look at why this works. First of all, I'm gonna turn off my 3D stitching and I'm gonna zoom in on the letters so that you can actually see what we're looking at. These particular lettering by Designs by Juju have been digitized so that they have an underlay stitching underneath the satin stitches. This allows the letters to lie flat and does not require you to use extra stabilizer to get a flat non-puckered stitch out. Now remember we put this back at the original setting of zero compensation. Watch what happens when I increase the compensation. and We went up to six. Do you see how the satin stitches got wider as well as the underlay satin stitches? So this bit, when you adjust the compensation, it's going to allow the overall design to stitch more like the original. If those satin stitches, the underlay ones, did not exist and you made the covering satin stitches wider with the compensation, you would get a lot more pull in between these two points or the two sides of your satin stitch so you could get more puckering unless you use more stabilizer because the only understitching would be running stitches of some sort, not a satin stitch that provides almost like a rebar type foundation for the satin stitches. Now again, this is part of Essentials Update and your version should be 1.145 or higher.